uh, when the uh, when the guys buy this tool, it comes with a fairly simple manual. And uh, the, as I've said a couple times already, or, um, it's not a special tool. And really, the only change to the normal um, to the voltage measurement process is they just push the button on the tool. Um, a lot of guys have questions about whether or not they could use it on ECMs, and the answer is yes, for ECM safe. In fact, in the back of the manual, uh, we've got a chart for a 5-volt sensor, an 8-volt sensor, and then the four standard voltages you might find in trucks and uh, cars, trucks, and equipment, 12, 14 and a half, 24, and 28 and a half. Um, the important thing to understand is that the tool only applies a 10 milliamp per volt load. So some people might say that's not enough on high load circuits, but, you know, Ohm's law works. So if, if you have a 14 and a half volt system, uh, you just come back to the chart, and if you read 14 and a half and it drops to... Uh, to ten and a half, then Ohm's law of math, which some guys know, some guys don't, but it works. Ten and a half volts from fourteen and a half volts, there's forty ohms. Well, forty ohms is a lot. If you've only got a ten ohm solenoid, that forty ohms is going to basically take the system out, um, completely take the system out. So, when you use the tool, if you have any questions about what the drop really means, well, you can use the chart. And it's important to remember that the sensors at five and eight volts. Uh, we've got it down to the uh, tenth of a volt, and um, we can tell you that if it drops from 5 volts to 4.1, it's 21.95 ohms. Uh, most sensors are running at about 10 ohms. So uh, it's, it's it, it, you know, a small drop could be a big problem. Uh, in field test, we found out that any drop from as little of about 3 tenths of a volt okay. up to about 7 tenths of a volt, um, guys in truck shops in New York, um, if they see three to seven tenths, they're looking for a problem. So the tool is very, very sensitive, and we're actually proud of the fact, as funny as this sounds, if it drops from 12 volts to uh, 11 volts, I can tell you specifically that's 9.09 ohms, which may seem kind of weird, but that's the other nice thing about this tool as compared to the Power Probe, is that we're calibrated. Okay. You know, if, if I see a number here, and then I push the button and I see another number, I can tell you how many ohms of corrosion you got exactly you don't need the ohm meter anymore you can eliminate the ohm meter from most of your testing by using the specifications that uh, or excuse, excuse me using the processes that we we suggest using um, and we really encourage people to get out there and try to use it and don't be afraid to use it you're not going to hurt anything at all it's completely uh, ECM safe just as a note and I, I want to emphasize this we have not tested this on an airbag uh, and we don't recommend ever using anything other than the manufacturer specified tools on an airbag. So I want to make it clear that uh, we're ECM safe, but we are not airbag tested. And please don't use it on an airbag. That's very important. Um, other than that, it's really nothing more than a, a, a substitute load that lets your voltmeter give you more information than you've ever had before. Right. And we're very proud that you guys are uh, carrying this tool for mm -hmm. us. And we're uh, very pleased with y'all's uh, y'all's success. And anything we can do to help you, we'll be happy to help. Very well, thank you. Very appreciate it. All right, thank you. Thanks so much.